Good morning, everyone. And today we are doing our chair exercise for today. So you're gonna need one weight, weight of your choice, and then one of your bands here. And I had boots on, so I'm going to wear my socks today so that I have more rotation in my ankles. So I'm gonna put this down here first while we stretch. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to do neck rolls. the other way. All right, and then we're going to do our shoulder rolls. Go back first. Take your right hand, put it across your chest, and pull your elbow across. Alright, and then take the same arm behind your back, opposite arm, and push your elbow down. Take your left arm, crossed, pull the elbow back. All right, and then take your left arm behind your back and push your elbow down. Now take your wrist and go pull your fingers back. Make sure you keep your arms straight. Flip your fingers down and pull back. take our band here and we are going to put it around your right foot first 
hold them together with one hand and pull up. And over. And back to the middle. down, switch feet, hold the band together with both hand, with one hand, and pull up. You want to hold each one of these for about 12 to 15 seconds, whatever you feel. That way you can stretch the back of your calf up to your leg and up to your thigh. When you go over, it should stretch more here in your thigh. Back over in the middle. Alright. Now I want you to take your band in both hands, stretch out. Go above your head and pull back if you can. If you can't, just go above your head and just stretch out. But if you're able to go behind your head, you'll be able to stretch your back of your shoulder blades back there. And you'll hold this for about 10 to 12 seconds. All right, and then over to the right. Try to keep your arms as straight as possible. You should feel it in your shoulders. Center and left. Center. Alright. Alright, so what I want you guys to do, we're going to stretch this muscle here. Try to get to the edge of your seat. And try to stretch your thigh muscles out. And just kind of push on the inside of your thighs out. Should help feel it in your hips as well as your back thighs and your front. for about 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right. Go behind your chair. All right. We're gonna do our tiptoes. Hold on to the back of your chair if you need to. We're going to start with our weights. So sit back down and grab your weight. All right. First thing we're going to do is we are going to do roll ups. So we're going to put your hand over your side and you're going to make sure you keep your elbow back like this. You'll feel more of a strength in your bicep. We're going to do a set of 15.
three, two, and one. All right, and then switch to the other side. <clears throat> Hand over here, elbow to your side, not out. if you need it. <coughs> Take breaths if you need it. All right, now I want you to take the weight in each one of your hands here, put your elbows out, and just push in as hard as you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Now I want you, we're going to do our wrist here. So you're going to put it above your knee here. And with palm down, we're going to do 10 of these. With palm down and palm up. Three, two, and one. And flip your hand over to palm up. Ten. Switch hands. Palm down first. Two and one. Palm up. Two and one. All right. Now we're going to go back to our side here. Now we're going to do row backs like that. All right. So remember, leg over your opposite leg. Now the elbow needs to stay attached to your side as much as possible. And we're just going to go like this. We're not going to go out. We're going to try to keep our elbow attached to our side as much as possible, okay? We're going to do a set of 15 on each side. center here. Now I want you to take hand at the bottom of the dumbbell and grab the other, grab the same one with the other hand. And we're going to do backward dips. And we're going to do a set of 12.
two, and one. Safely bring it to your leg. All right, now we're going to do, with your forearm out, do lift ups, all right, on each arm. If you have two, you can do them together if you'd like, but we're gonna do right and then left, okay? We're gonna do a set of 12. Up, side, two, side, three, three, two, and one. Weight down and switch hands to your shoulder, up, side, Two and one. All right. Now we're going to do curls. So before we did with just wrist, but this time we're going to go straight up to your shoulder. We're going to do a set of 15. Four, three, two, and one. Down, back to center. Safely switch hands. Four, three, two, and one. All right, and now we're going to start cooling down. All right, so we're done with our weights, so we're gonna put this down here. All right, first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna stretch our backs. So we're gonna go to the back of our chair. Three, two, and one. All right. Take your wrist out and pull back. Three, two, and one. Flip down. Three, two, and one. Switch hands. And I am holding these for a set of, tw of 12 seconds when you're stretching out, okay? And three, two, and one. Flip wrist down. Three, two, and one. Right. Take your right arm over your side to your elbow and pull back. Three, 
three, two, and one. Right arm to your back. Pull down. Push down. Don't forget to breathe and take drinks if you need it. Now take your left arm over, elbow, and push back. Three, two, and one. Left arm behind your back, and push down. Three, two, and one. All right, now we're gonna do neck rolls and shoulder rolls, okay? So we're gonna start with the necks. Three, two, and one. All right, now we're going to do shoulder rolls back. Three, two, and one, and shoulders forward. Three, two, and one. All right, everyone, that is our Jerry Fit exercise for today. Hopefully we can have you guys in person next week since we are open to the public. So call our office to schedule to come if you want to come in for Jerry Fit. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay warm, everyone.